Good evening. Look, there's a pair of ears. It's a pair of Downson ears. And there's four more ears over there. Black horse ears. That's little Maybelline on the left. And Angel Eyes himself on the right. So who have we got with us so far? Hi Karen, hi Donna. We are live on Bardsey Beach, which is just the most amazing place. So because it's a beautiful spring day, and also I have to admit there is another reason why I'm bringing you this live from the beach today. It's purely because I'm not gonna bring you a live next Wednesday, but I can tell you more about that later. Hi Laura, hi Claire. Hi Val. So we've got a whole family outing here today. We've got Hazel and Sue who've come along to see us. We've got Lisa's husband Vince hiding over there. And then we've got Lisa who has been helping us for how long is it now, Lisa? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Um, it's her last week um, for now. She'll be back, won't she, Vince? Go on, it's on camera now. It's on camera. <laughs> hi, Kate. Hi, Diane. Hi, Patsy. So, um, Lisa has got Mabel out here. So, little Peppa Pig, who, as I said in the earlier video, if you saw it. Hi, Christine. Hi, hi Patsy. Um, she loves rolling in muddy puddles. So, we're really hoping that she's not going to let us down today. Lisa's dressed for it. She's got a change of clothes with her. Then behind her, we've got Frey. Frey's there with... My little man, Bailey. So Frey, as you know, is Holly's sister, looks after everything at the weekends. Then we've got big sis, my big sis Tamara over there. No, not big as in that way, as in older. I need to make sure that everybody knows that you're my older sister. So Tamara's here with her lovely little puppy, Woody. And it's his, he had his final injections yesterday, was that? Two weeks, oh, it was two weeks ago, so he's allowed to go out in public now. Um, so he's having his first trip down to the beach. And then we've got the matriarch herself, my mother, Sylvia. She's there with Millie with her little sticky out tongue. Those of you who've met Millie before will know her for her, her little tongue. Who am I missing? Hi, Liz. Hi, Lisa. Uh, hi, Jamie. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Richard. Then we've got looking beautiful in her her green goddess dress is whole and she's she's got angel eyes himself Hannes so you can only see his bottom there because he's taking advantage of being able to eat lots of green grass so this is his first outing in the horse box for a while where he's coming for a nice trip out rather than some treatment hi Fiona hi Cheryl hi Talia hi Andrea and then we've got over there Jody, who's had a very important day herself today, um, having an interview for getting her own farm. So that's all looking really promising. So I think it was quite stressful for her. So she's here with Jim and Nell there for a nice relaxing evening with us. And next to her is Kaz, who I was saying the other day, I met Kaz online when she still lived in Australia and met her for the very first time after she'd moved back over here up on Burke Rig, which is up behind those houses over there during COVID. And Kaz now often comes down to the farm to help out. She does a lot of poo picking, filling of hay nets, all sorts of things. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the clan that we've got here today. So I'm gonna take you out onto these beautiful sands. Um, Hannes and Mabel are going to go and do their thing. Do you want to walk in front of me or behind me? Well, do you want to walk? Do you want to walk in front of me? And then I can get you on camera as well. <laughs> uh, hi, Helen. It is a glorious evening, Talia. It really is. Um, Helen. Oh, you've come down to meet us. Helen, if you're down at the beach, if you go past the main car park, you shouldn't miss us because we're in this big yellow lorry, but you'll see us out on the sands shortly. Um, uh, you're at the end of Main Street. I'm not quite sure. Where's Main? Does anyone know where Main Street is? No. Um, 
as long as you followed the road to Bardsey, you should hopefully find us eventually. Hi Helena, hi Sarah. Hi Rebecca, hi Sally. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Hi Nizar. Sorry, Dowson is going to take full advantage of the fact that I'm not being disciplined with her. Her favourite thing is to stick her head and neck up in the air. Um, so, because she knows that I'm only riding with one hand, she's going to take advantage as much as she can. Hi Lynn, hope you're recovering well. Thinking of you, I hope you're not in pain. Charlotte, it's beautiful, isn't it? Hi Alison. Hi Jenny. Yes, they need to walk in front because you want to see the Mabel bottom. Lisa, the problem is, is everyone's going to want to see Mabel's bottom, so they're going to have to see your bottom as well. <laughs> they don't look lily white on camera, I promise. Hi Sam. Hi Jane. Uh, what beach is it, Richard? It is Bardsey Beach, so it's in between um, Ulverston and Barrow. Um, it's big open sands when it's low tides at the moment. So I don't know whether you can see on here, don't want to zoom in, but over there is actually Hesham Power Station. But it's a really clear evening, so you can see right across the bay. But it's all part of, of Morecambe Bay, so um, some of you might know that Morecambe Bay is known for its quicksand, so we do have to be a little bit careful. Um, but I've spent many years on this beach and I'd like to think that I know the sands really well. Only come out here when it's been low tide for a while. Hi Dave. Ah, you see us, Helen. Oh, no, that's okay. Evening. <laughs> Hi Becky. Hi Karen. It is a lovely evening. And look how chilled out these two are. You know, that's the thing. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, why would you go and walk a horse on the beach? You know, because they're going to be lively. They're going to want to gallop around. You know, we know our horses inside out. Let's face it, we, you know, a lot of you who follow us behind the scenes know that we just have them wandering around the yard. Um, and we know which ones are sensible down here. Alison, don't be jealous. If we had Yolanda out here, you might be jealous. Um, uh, what's that, Renee? How old are these horses? Um, oh, now you're asking me. I think Dowson is about 13 or 14. Mabel is 15 or 16. I won't tell you Lisa's age. 15. And Hannes is 13. You're absolutely right, Portia. It, it is gorgeous. Hi, Caitlin. Look at that mane. <laughs> Jenny, you can't wait for a canter. I promise you I'll give you a few canters. Well, Sarah, you'll need to get yourself up here. What a wonderful evening for a beach ride. Happy memories of your ride with Jodie. Oh, evening. <laughs> Dave. Uh, oh, you're with, you're with Freya. Hi, hi Freya. Hi Dave. You have joined every week. Um, I'm Freya's sister. Hold on. I'm Freya's sister Freya who joined every week. I'm Ella, by the way. Hi Ella. So you're on, presumably on your dad's Facebook. Uh, oh, oh, oh. She says that's lively. Hiya. <laughs> hey, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. <laughs> I know, they're classy, aren't they? <laughs> this is Paul, Paul and Helen, who were with us at the weekend on one of our yard experiences, visiting from Australia at the moment. Um, you might have seen, I think we put a little reel of you on Facebook the other day. And then Rich, Richard, if I remember, Steve, I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely, and now, like, this is the first bit of water that Mabel sees, although hopefully this bit isn't deep enough for her to have a roll in. We want, we want her to roll in the deeper bit, Lisa. Yeah, I'm you, you. 
It's just to get you get you used to the temperature. Yeah. Hi Debbie. Hi Jill. Thank you, Alison. Evening, Jennifer. I'm sorry, I'm missing loads of comments. Um, oh, Caitlin, thank you. Hi, Anne. Look, Hannes is having a splash now. Holly, do Holly, you look very fetching in your green dress. That's from Jenny Reynolds. <laughs> Paul says thank you. Hi, Jane. Hi, Rebecca. Um, will you be taking the horses? Will you be taking ongoing horses in the water? Is it safe to do so? Yes, we know which bits of water are safe enough to go to go in. Um, hi, Manuel. Hi, Joanne. Hoof prints in the sand. We'll be making a few of those. Lynn, we will have a lovely evening. We're already having a lovely evening. Hunnis does deserve this. I would laugh if Hunnis does. Hunnis goes down, although it's unlikely. He's have. He's. It is fresh water. So yeah, this is fresh water coming out. To the sea. Hi, Assad. Uh, who else we got? Nicole. Jenny Reynolds says hi, Paul and and Helen. Val, just watch the great coastal train journeys. You're visiting Cartmel Priory. Oh, how lovely! Listen, I'm I'm gonna. I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna just skip through some of these messages that are coming through. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can concentrate on what Hannes is doing there. I'm not getting too close because I'm not going to get soaked. But this is such a lovely treat for them. Um, Mabel spent many an hour down here before being ridden on the beach. But those of you that know, know that Mabel doesn't like being ridden. She will be ridden, but she's not really built for it. So she enjoys her carriage driving. Um, so she does that and a bit of lunging these days. Um, but even just, as I say, bringing them down to walk on, on the beach is fantastic. And it's poor Dowson who has, has to have the hard work because she has to carry me. Sorry, Dow. Are you going to splash or are you just going to stand? You're just going to stand in the water. Well, let's go near to Holly and splash her. I'm so desperate to... <laughs> you don't. At least it's not a white dress. I'll, I'll throw a stone at you. Don't throw a stone at me. You might hit Dowson. I'll throw a stone at you. <laughs> Is that it, Dow? Are you just going to stand there? Isn't she beautiful? She says, Mum, get off me. Let me go and just walk around on the sands. But actually, th this, is, this is a nice thing to do. We, we, um, again, some of you will know, we're doing uh, a new thing this year. We've got two dates for it where we're doing beach walking with the horses so for those people who have always dreamed of riding on the beach but riding isn't going to be an option um, because we don't do the the riding on the beach now um, we're doing beach walking days um, because as i said earlier we know which horses are very sensible out here and just to come down here and walk with them is incredibly special so we've got the first day on the 24th of June. The second one is on the 9th of August. And you're going to be the first to hear this. We've actually got two spaces that have become available for the 24th of June. Um, it was sold out, um, but unfortunately a couple of people have had to change their date. So the 24th of June, it's not just coming down here and walking on the beach with some of the horses it's spending basically the whole day with us so it's coming up to the farm meeting all the horses getting to know them um, having a practice walk with the ones that we're going to take to the beach walking them around making sure that you're comfortable and relaxed with them we'll show you how to lead them um, and then you can help prep them for bringing them down in the lorry to the beach We'll come down here. We might even have ice cream. Or maybe Holly will make some ice cream because she makes really good ice cream. She does. You make a green one, yes. Pistachio, isn't it? That was really nice. But that chocolate one that I tried earlier was really good as well. So, so yeah, 24th of June. Um, hopefully, if my sister is watching this, rather than concentrating on, on Woody, her puppy, um, she'll post a link. So... It will be very much first come, first served. Um, I'll tell you the price. It's £250 for the day. 
you can bring up to three spectators with you as well. Um, there's a small charge for them. Um, but if you want to come and spend a day with the Frisian family and come and walk, walk with the Frisians out on the beach, on this beautiful beach. Oh yeah, yeah, you probably didn't hear that because I've got the microphone up here, but as Holly said, you don't just get to be with the Frisian family for the day, you, you kind of are our family for the day. Yeah. yeah, because we always say, you know, anyone who comes along, you just have to make yourself at home um, because you do become part of the family. Um, anyway, I should really have a look at some of the comments coming through. Hannes does look happy. Hi Nancy, hi Jenny. Thank you, Tamara, for posting the link. Hi, Brittany. Sally, you're right. Just being around horses and feeling their energy is is as special as anything. You know, it's not just about the riding. Um, look at these two. Very happy. The sands look really white, don't they? Quite salty. Doubtson, will you not do that? She's taking complete advantage. I'm going to just have a little trot around over here. I'm just going to remind Doutson that she needs to not stick her head up in the air. Right. I'm just going to adjust a little bit. There's Jim and Nell having, having a run round over there. I'm just going to give you a little walk around over here. So yeah, the sands have gone, because it's been very low tides this week, um, obviously this is where all the, all the salt, the sea salt has dried out. Um, what's that, Joanne? I'd love to get my mum up to yours at some point. I think she really misses them, their smell and their energy. Well, honestly, you know, that's the majority of our visitors now are, are, not, are not riders. You know, we do have some riders coming along on our custom experience days, which are, are mainly aimed at those who are wanting to learn more about the breed um, and just experience what they're like either to ride and drive. Um, but most of our visitors, you know, we, we aim for those people who just love horses, love being around them and want to spend time on a really nice friendly yard. You know, we're all pretty friendly, even Hull. <laughs> She's very friendly. Um, and you know, we, we like to make everyone feel welcome. And all the horses do as well. You know, they just love attention. They love visitors. Um, as I say, Helen and Paul, who, who have come down to see us, they, they were visiting from Australia. They came and spent the morning with us, no, the afternoon with us on Saturday. Um, came out for a carriage ride, did some grooming, led horses in and out of the fields. Um, we've got our friendship barn where you can just have that one-to-one -one time with any of the horses. Jen, it really is amazing. Hi Sarah. Look, we've got our shadow down there. Some of you might remember I brought Downson out here for a sunrise ride um, a couple of years ago, I think. And we came down here and it was just thick fog. Thick, thick fog. Oh, Faye has got Hunnis now. Should we head to the water over here? Do you want me to give you the phone yeah, for a bit? That, yeah. I can show you and I can give everyone a, you know, a perspective like, of everything. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to pass over to Hull, which is always a risk because I never know what she's going to say. Um, I'm not even going to tell her to be well behaved because Holly will be Holly. Do I get the muff? <laughs> it's not a muff. Tomorrow calls it a dead cat. That's the microphone. Yeah, so I'll, I'll try and ride down some properly. Thank you. Oh, 
thank you. Sorry, everybody. Just let me um, clip the muff on. Um, I am allowed to call it a muff because it is a muff. It is a muff. You know, it muffles the sound, Tracy. I don't know where your mind is going. But moving on. So it, this also allows you to see Tracy, obviously on Doubtson rather than just through the ears. Doubtson, she's a very elegant lady. Wish I could say the same for Tracy. No, I'm joking. She's not, not so bad herself. You know, Doubtson, she just, she floats. She's incredible. She is an athlete. Just gliding along the sands. Her name is Dobson and she dances on the sands. I will not serenade you all. Nobody should have to hear that. And then on here, over here, we've got the ones on the ground. So we got little Hennis, who's very, very chilled. Oh. Someone said that your Sally has said you're absolutely flawless. Is he Dobson? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's not very tidy yet. So you can see Hennis here, he's very chill. So you can see, this is the view that you'd see if you were walking on the beach with them. You know, you get to, it's very therapeutic actually, just, just walking alongside them, feeling them, the energy, it's calming, they're happy to be out. Oh, Doubtson's having a canter now. Whee! <laughs> a nice controlled canter there. They have to have a lot of strength. Um, to canter like that nice and collected because it's actually quite a challenging thing for them to do physically to, to canter in a very controlled way like that but this will be really nice for Doubtson because Doubtson predominantly does a lot of schooling and they're obviously all trained on the dressage principles um, but Doubtson in particular does quite a bit so it's always good to give them variety in their training and get them out and about as well but that's the nice thing about coming to the beach is that it's such a big space for them and you can kind of play about with doing different things and getting them engaged. Oh, thank you, Sally. Um, oh yes, Talia, Doubtson does move beautifully. She is, she's like a ballerina. So there we go. There she goes again. Off she goes into the sunset. Bye Tracy, see you again never. Moving on. So we'll come back over here to where Mabel and Hannah are hanging out. Oh, Dalton's back. That's sad, I thought it's in the last of Tracy. Good. <laughs> She's back. So yeah, just, I was, yeah. Um, that there as well, you know, nice oh, stop. Because also as well to switch up the gates <laughs> like that. You know, just to go from canter to walk again takes a lot of control and a very strong hind quarters. Uh, oh, everyone's complimenting you. You know, Doubtson moves beautifully. She has great confirmation. She does tally it apart from her back. Uh, yeah, you can't she's see it. Dip. She yeah, she's dip like a bucket. But if I pick her up. Oh, Portia says stunning. Emma says beautiful. Got Neil with us as well. Neil, not Jane's Neil, thank God. Um, <laughs> you can't say that. Yes, I can. Um, it's nice, Neil. Well, I think you're nice, Neil. Nice, Neil. But, um, never met you, but I reckon you are. Oh, hi, Pamela. Oh, yeah, Hannes, he's very, very happy. He's so relaxed and happy to be out. Oh, and Mabel. Mabel as well. Little wiggle bum over here. Got Lisa's dog, Izzy, there too. You know? Tell you what we can do, actually. Do you want to walk on and then everyone can see her bum? You know, let you let you watch the arse for a bit. There we go. See, look at that. We can wiggle with Mabel on the beach. Wiggle. Yes, Talia. Doubtson is very light on her feet. Mabel, not so much, but she makes up for it with the the sassy little wiggle. And Hannes, he's he's much happier in himself since he's had the tumour removed. An awful lot happier, and it's so nice to see him back himself. Um, there's still potentially a couple of other things, obviously. Should I be going? Yeah, you can. You can go wherever you want. Um, that you know we might have to do further, but I think it's still kind of in the deciding phases. Um, but he is well, not in the. Sorry, that's the wrong way to describe it. Um, there's just a couple that 
were considering different things to treat um, but nothing major but we always said you can see the dogs there you know oh Jackson's having a good gallop there nothing major and we always said you know with a sarcoid it was never a case of curing it because sadly there is no cure just managing it the best we can to give him the best life possible which at the moment we are achieving that so all is well yeah, we're going to get Lisa soggy. <laughs> so it's a beautiful evening here. There he is, the boy himself. Oh, I know, that sound is incredible. The feet pounding on the sand. The Mabel wiggle when you drive Rebecca. Oh yeah, no, it really, really makes it. As long as you promise to concentrate and not be distracted by the wiggle, okay? Because otherwise I get slightly traumatised as the groom on the carriage because... You know, you might like swerve into a hedge or something. No, I'm joking. Everybody who's had a drive experience here on the whole has been absolutely amazing. There's only been a couple of times where it's been like, um, I'd actually rather walk than be on the carriage please because I'm traumatized. Um, but other than that, it's all good. Oh, thank you, Emma. They are beautiful. You can, yeah, you can have the muff back. Thanks. It's okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I'm going to hand you back over to Tracy now. Thank you, Green Goddess. Dale's like any chance to stick her head up in the air. Hello, everyone. And um, the water channel has changed here, um, so it's in a slightly different place. Um, and but that's the thing out here. You know, the sands move. Oh, look, Dalson's going to go. Look, Jodie's Jodie's in there. Bailey's in there. Yeah. It's sticky, is it? There you go, Dad. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lisa. <laughs> I'm going to take the camera off because poor Lisa won't be happy with that being on on camera. <laughs> oh. It was bound to happen. Someone getting very wet. So Jodie's stepped in there. Vince is banning Lisa from, from his car now. <laughs> Mabel's feeling very proud of herself, but at least she's not go gone down in the water. Bailey's having a splash. Doubtson wants to have a splash. Go on then, you have a splash, sweetheart. This is Doubtson's downtime, you know, so it doesn't matter if she's not disciplined. I'll let her get away with it. We're disciplined the rest of our t rest of the time. Oh, there's Hannes going across. Doubtson's going for a little walk now. Doubtson just wants to walk through it. Are you right there, Lisa? <laughs> We'll have a jump out, up out of here. Oh, Dalson, that's steep, isn't it? Oh, Jodie's over there with Mabel. You see, there's never, there's never a dull moment. Lisa, Pamela says she's really sorry, but that was funny. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? I have to say. The galloping sound was incredible. Um, you know what? It, it's it's quite the sands are quite the sands are quite soft here. So I'm going to head for that dry sand over there. Jodie, are you all right with her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is deep here, but it, it looks drier over there. So you can see how much they're they're going down in the sand there. So we're always really careful, and we don't sort of trot and canter them around on here when when it's when it's that deep um, but as you can see over there you see how the sand changes color and it's much lighter that will be much drier and hopefully much firmer and then I'll give you a little bit of a blast down here if I can get down some to stop snatching the reins from me I'm just going to turn the camera this way so I can read the comments 
Amber's loving. Hi, Amber. Hi, Jen. That's right, of course. Amber, Downson is your sponsored girl. So Amber sponsored Downson earlier this year when she came along to one of our open days. You can sponsor the horses, so if you go on, on the website, and if Tamara's still watching, she might be able to share the link on there. There you can see, like, Mabel's just happily walking along on a nice, relaxed rain. And, you know, even if even if she decided to have a trot and, and get a bit more lively, they listen. They listen really well, and Jodie would just sort of pull her around in a little bit of a circle. But she's just enjoying the freedom. As is Hannes over there. We've left everyone behind. I'm gonna let's see what this sound is like. Let's see if I can give you a little bit of a blast. Are you two are you two alright if I go for a little canter? Yeah. Downson, should we give everyone a little bit of a blast? I'm assuming that you'd all like a little bit of a blast on the sands. Uh hold on, I have to turn the phone this way to read your comments. Jen, that's absolutely right. I did say Mabel would roll, not Lisa. Jen's made a very good point. I did say that Mabel was going to roll, but it was actually Lisa. <laughs> Sorry to shout down the phone at you. Uh, will you go into the water? We'll go in again, yeah. Um, right, go Downson. Downson, that's you. Shall we drop our head first? Sorry. Let me drop the head first. Let me get her sorted out and we'll go for a nice little canter. We might go for, for a fairly steady one this way and then and then go a little bit faster coming back. There we go. So we'll just have a nice steady one. Can we go in a straight line, Downson? There we go. <laughs> she says, no, I don't want to go in a straight line. There we go. Nice steady one. And then I'll turn around and I'll let her go full blast back towards the others. Come on down, we can go a little bit further. I think we've done very crooked um, prints in the sand there. So that was a nice gentle one. A nice gentle one. And I'm going to turn her back to them in a second. And ask her just just to wait until I'm ready so she'll be keen to go but you know we make sure all of them listen to us there's everyone else over there shall I go to the right of them or to the left of them Downson let's just get you back into position no don't be rude just bear with me a sec right go on then that's a fast one. There we go. There's the others over there. There's my shadow. <laughs> go on, sweet up. Oh, we're heading for the soft ground again. There we go. We'll circle round. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look, there's a jellyfish. Oh, that's a huge jellyfish. Sorry, I have to have a look at that. Wow, look at that. Oh, my life. <laughs> have you seen the size of this jellyfish? Gosh, sorry. Slightly distracted by that. That was a rather lovely, rather lovely blast along the sands, wasn't it? Uh, I really should have worn my sunglasses so I could see the phone. Um, the sound of those pounding hooves, I know, it's very cool, isn't it? The sky is beautiful. Man of war. Race course next week. Richard, no, I've said to you before, we're not allowed on the race course, honestly. <laughs> you could feel the wind in your hair, yeah. I mean, it, it is really cool. It is really cool. And, you know, I, I, I do feel bad about the fact that I, I don't offer beach rides on the horses out here anymore. Um, but it really wasn't in the horses' best interest to keep doing it. Um, but, you know, I'd like to think that walking with them on the beach is the next best thing. Um, you know, it's lovely and relaxed. You can still take in the scenery. And as you've seen with, 
with Mabel and Hannes. They're, they're really relaxed and, and happy doing it. It's like taking a big dog for a walk. Um, oh look, Hannes, <laughs> isn't that lovely? But you see, even there, you know, having a trot along, they're not silly with it. But you know, if you come and do this, you don't have to run with them. You, you know, you just enjoy your time with them. You're right, Sally, they will have that lovely smell of sea and sand on them. Yep, any time you can spend with horses, especially Frisians, is time well spent. Isn't it, Dow? Eh? I love the way they just look knowingly across the bay. And you know the times over the years where I've come down here and just watched the horses out here, um, you know, if Jodie had somebody down here on the beach, just being able to watch them, it is, it is very magical. Mabel, are you having fun? Lisa, have you dried out a little bit? Yeah? Jen's told me off because because I'd said that Mabel was going to roll, but it was you who rolled instead. <laughs> uh, let's go and see Hannes. Let's go and see Hannes. How are you doing, Hannes? Hannes is happy. He's a happy boy. Sheila, that's absolutely fine that you're late to the party. It's still going on, as you can see. That's one very happy Hannes. Hannes, you gonna show everyone your eye? Shall I come round the other side? He says, no, I don't want to. No doubts, and that's not helpful. So look at that. It's looking good. It's looking good. There's still work to be done on it. Oh, Doubtson, don't be rude, honestly. I think Doubtson's coming into season, hence the, the squealing. She is, she is a bit of a hussy, aren't you? Um, it's, usually da it's usually Mabel who's flirting with everyone. Isn't that lovely? Sorry, I'm going to have to circle back there because they looked beautiful with the sun behind them. They look beautiful all the time, but isn't that a lovely silhouette? Very beautiful silhouette. Mabel posing beautifully. Uh, name of the beach, uh, Chrissy. it's uh, Bardsey Beach. Um, I do apologise if I'm missing any of the comments because I'm, I'm not seeing all of them. Um, I think I think this will work wonders for Hannes, you know, just being able to come out here and have a change of scenery. Um, the beach, it takes us about 40 minutes in the horse box to get here. Uh, Gillian, I've been watching with Envy, just a question, if any of the horses rolled on the sand, would you have to hose them off? when you got back or is it good for them? Um, to be honest, it, it is, it's like exfoliating. Um, so it depends if they were sweaty with it um, as to whether we'd hose them off. But a, a lot of the time the sand will just sort of brush off or, or drop off. But yeah, it's not, it's not bad for them at all. Um, you have to go, Jill, sorry. Sorry you're having to leave, but thank you for joining. Hi, Karen. Um, would you like me to obviously go for another blast? So would you like to ride with me? Or would you like Hole to video me having, having a blast along the sands? Let me know your preference. Um, oh, you're thinking more about the salt. Um, well, yeah, I suppose in theory it could, it could bleach the coat a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, to be honest, all our horses get washed down quite a lot. So. Um, uh, I'm just reading this, Jenny, yes please, to watch you with Holly, yes, food for the soul, another blast, ride with you please, ride with you, oh we've got preference for ride with you, you know what, I'll just have to do both, so I'll take you for another blast now, um, because Downson's pretty fit, 
and then I'll give Hole the phone. Um, Hole, I'm just going to... I've at the moment got a preference of people wanting to ride with me for another blast, but then there's a few people who would like you to video me having a blast as well. So, so I'll take Dow down that way. Oh, I could, I could, mm, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought. Holly was saying to me, "Am I going to have two? Well, I'm so used to riding with something in my hand. I suppose I could. Mm, if I let, if I let whoever go, I think I'd probably rather go Hunnis than Mabel. Would I? Let him go. Well, no, I wouldn't want to let anyone go. But, but who would I prefer to trot and? Yeah, so I'm going to have a blast and take everyone for a bit of a canter with me. Yeah. Then some people would like you to just video me having a blast. Okay. And then you're wanting me to take one of these well, while you I video. No, I, I could do. Somebody else wanted. No, they haven't. But I think that's a good idea. Okay, yeah. We can give that a go as well. Is very He's very chilled. He's, he's looking sleepy now. Um, right, which way am I going to go for a canter? Um, right, let me take you, uh, let me take you along here. Mm. No, actually I'm going to go that way towards Jodie. Right, so it's going to be relatively steady this way. Let me just sort my reins out again. Let me sort my reins. We'll have a steady one this way. One then down. Hold on, I've got something on the screen. There we go. There we have a nice steady one. I feel like you're coming with me. Right near the water. And then we'll go a little bit faster going back the other way. Dow says I'm ready to turn. Right, hold on Dow. Let's sort out and we'll go a little bit faster this way. Shall I just give you your head and go? Go on then. Oh, she's off. She's off. There we go. How fabulous is that? Are we going to circle round them down or are we just going to stop? We'll just stop. <laughs> oh dear me. <laughs> Oh, she's fabulous. Right, I'm going to pass over to Hull. I'm going to... Nice to see you. Yeah, thank you for coming down. You will do. Do I get the muff back? You get the muff back. Oh, the muff back. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my muff back, everybody. <laughs> right, what am I doing first? Am I... Am I I'll just have a little play round with Alice first. Okay, so... Or shall, or shall I do... This? Yeah, then I can get it out. Of a, of a breather. So Dalton's right. been speeding along. Now we're giving Hannes over to Tracy. Oh, he's seen hello. Oh, Sheila says that was fab. Jill says brilliant. Oh, Angela says come and fly with you. Yeah, that reminds me of the show Come Fly With Me. Did anyone else watch that? You know, with Matt Lucas? I, I do miss that show. It was iconic. So we have one that's raring to go, one that is falling asleep. Quite a nice blend. Oh, honey. Oh, Judy, that's lovely. No, I think I was just talking to one of the ladies who'd come down with us and she was saying how she's um, she'd broken her back a few years ago and isn't able to ride anymore. And it is, I could imagine, well, I don't ride that much personally, um, but I can imagine it is hard. But I think, there's so many other things that you can do with them. You know, you can do things like this. There's so much groundwork you can do as well. And more than anything, you can get that, I guess, feeling that riding gives you in, in other ways by connecting with them on the ground as well. Oh yeah, and Tracy's boots, they were a 50th present from all of us to her. So yeah, black and gold, custom made. Um, and they do look great, however, they absolutely killed her to break in. Oh, I can zoom in. Who knew? There we go. So, a nice little trot around for Hannes and Jadson. 
Oh, how pretty. How pretty. This will be so nice for Hannes because he hasn't really been out anywhere. Obviously, while well, he's had his treatment. So there he is. Nice little trot around. I know it is an incredible sound, Joanne. Oh, little man. I'm tired. I'm tired, Hall. Can I come back to you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. boy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a lot to take in, isn't it? Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. They are beautiful movers. Shall I give him to Frey and then I'll. Yeah? Out. Cool. Okay. So we're going to hand to Freya. Are you going to take little man? Yeah. So Freya's going to take little man again? Oh, after and then Tracy is going to take Doubtson for one last um, blast. So we're going to sing the Black Beauty theme. You have to sing the Black Beauty Beauty theme tune, you know. Do da 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 do do. So gentle. Yeah. Well, if it's going to be gentle, I expect it to be that controlled. I can walk alongside you. Oh, really? Yeah, go on. How, yeah, see, how controlled can you get it? Well, possibly not very controlled. Well, let's see if... if, if Mel was watching. Well, let's, let's try. Let's see if I can... If I... Right, well, we might do a nice controlled... Yeah. Well. Okay. I'm going to lead you to the jellyfish, so you walk through the jellyfish. I'm trotting as well. Um, I have a smooth arm. You know, I've got stable biceps from using the post knocker. Yeah. I want to be like a cameraman with my own train tracks. <laughs> you know how they have them in the movies? You don't need them they're on the horseback. Nice! <laughs> That is controlled. Aye, that's so rude. <laughs> so off she goes. Woo! Turn the band. Woo! <laughs> and off she goes. Run forest. Yeah, that's me. Oh yeah. No, the theme tune for Black Beauty would be awesome when she's going for it. Maybe even something more upbeat, you know? A bit of pitbull. Mr. Worldwide. No, that song reminds me of Mabel actually, you know, and um what is it? Just give me a minute. Um, oh yeah, shake, 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 Sonora, you know, shake, 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 Sonora, shake your body line, but there's a pitbull version, um, which is more modern, and it also goes like, ranga, danga, dang, dang, da, dang, dang, in between the verses, and I just think it really, really suits Mabel, so, because she's wiggly. Uh, I do ride Sheila, but just, the, predominantly a lot of the training I do them is from the ground, and... I love it like that because I'm learning as I go so it gives me the opportunity to kind of observe everything um, and learn how to read the body language and so that I can learn my own body language as well, how to communicate with them. Um, but yeah, you know, we all do a variety of the training methods. Uh, Tracy and Jody predominantly ride them but they also do groundwork as well. We just like to keep it varied and keep everybody happy and healthy. Uh, what are their heights? So, Mabel, yeah, average about 16. Mabel's the smallest. Yolanda, who's back at home, is our biggest, about 17. Um, so, yeah, and just saying that isn't, you know, the Pitbull song, uh, Shake, 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 Sonora, Shake Your Body Line? Because yeah. there's the old one, which is by a guy called Harry Belfont, right. yeah, but then there's a more modern one, which is like, Mr. Worldwide. 
Ranga banga, bang bang da bang bang, shake the line, shake your body and so on. And I just think it reminds me of Mabel. Because oh, yeah. ranga banga, dang dang na dang yeah. dang. You know, just just she she's got a body line, and she can shake it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you can shake yours as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight down into the water. Uh, Dalton's height, is she about 16 one? Yeah, about that. Yeah, um, but I think as well with Frisians, sometimes they appear bigger than they actually are um, because they're a very proud breed of horse and they because naturally the yeah, the carry themselves like that. Uh, but Dalton has a very dippy back as well, you know, to counteract that giraffe-like neck. Um, yeah, which makes her the hardest to ride. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mabel is very curvaceous, yes. Hi, Nicole. Right, should we head over to the water? Yeah, I think yeah. that would be nice. Ray's going to take Mabel. Yeah. Take yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, so we'll do that. I'll, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 There yeah, you go. Cool. I'll have the dead cat back, as Tamara calls it, or the muff, as you call it. Yeah, you've got your muff back. You have to say it yourself. I'm not going to say it, Hull. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> that didn't feel very pretty, but very often with Frisians, it, it looks better than it, it feels. Because obviously, you know, this is Dowson's happy, relaxing time. So I'm, I don't ask her to work in, in the way that I know is best for her physique. Um, I do that the rest of the time. But, you know, she'll always revert to what's easiest for her. Um, but I, I do work her in more, a more controlled way just to keep the strength through her back because if she doesn't do that then she gets weaker and weaker and then that's when injuries happen. So, right, we're going to walk back over to the water. It's not looking good, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's... Uh, Merkin, or is that naughty? Oh, I'm not quite sure what, what you mean, Jenny. Um, can you can we still ride, Hannes? Um, uh, yes, Hannes is Hannes is semi-retired um, because he does suffer with um, a problem with his hock, with his feet. He's got arthritis, so he just does some gentle um, hacking and loosening work, mostly with hull. Um, you know, he's one that it was getting to the point where we had lots of visiting riders where he was going lame every few weeks with so many different people on him. So he's one of the reasons why we don't offer riding anymore. Um, we've not ridden him since he's been having the treatment for his for his eye uh, because obviously there's a lot of bruising around his head. So it's not fair really for him to wear a, a, a bridle. And, and, you know, just because he's been under the weather, you know, he doesn't need to ride but he's been doing groundwork there's lots of things that we can do to keep to keep him entertained um, it doesn't have to be riding um, uh, safe to sorry I'm struggling to read comments is it safe to trot in the water where are you planning to go next week um, I'm really sorry Jen um, I'm actually, you maybe missed the beginning of this, one of the other reasons why I've done this one today is that I'm actually not bringing you a live next Wednesday. I know that I said that it was a series of spring and summer lives on Wednesday evening, but it's simply because, um, and, and I'll be completely honest with you, it's half term and my little man, Bailey over there and I are just having a, 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 a day away. Um, and it just so happens to be on the day where I would usually do the live hacks. So I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to be bringing you one next week. Um, um, you'd love to hear trotting in the water. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. I'm going to let those go that way with the sun setting in the background there. And I'll see whether I can get in the water and give you some trotting through the water. I don't want to miss Mabel rolling if she is going to roll. Are we aiming for that channel?
it's always a case down here of trying to pick your way through. Um, I don't know whether you'll get down from there, Frey. Will you get through there? Uh, let's have a look up here. Oh, they're going to go that way. Mm. Hummus is walking round that way. I'm going to go round this way. Yeah, Frey, we might be... You're right to walk down this bit. Yeah. Hol, I'm just going to take everyone for a trot through the water. I'm really sorry, just because of the sun and my eyes, I can't see all the comments right now, but I did see that about the water. It's just really shallow at the moment. There's not a lot of it, but let's see if we can... I'm just going to walk it first, just to make sure that it's safe underneath, because sometimes it gets a bit squidgy. You can hear... Oh, that's a, that's a soft spot. So we'll see whether we can get a nice little trot in the water up here. Go on down. Go on, sweetheart. Good girl. It is a very cool sound. But sometimes it gets a little bit sticky underfoot, which I think is what it is there, which is why Doubtson is being hesitant. I'm just going to take her forward. This is where I, I have to be careful through here. Um, just because it's a bit uneven. Um, I think she knows that it's not great. So I'm just going to give you a little trot in, trot through the water here, if that's okay. Here we go. I'll just give you a little trot. Yeah, it's quite uneven through here. But there we go. There's a nice bit for you. Sometimes we can trot quite a long way through here and other times it's just too... Sorry, Bailey. It's just too sticky. I was just going to get wet. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm afraid I can't give you that much of a trot. Um, but I hope that was something for you. Yeah, it's all very, very uneven through here today. So very often there's a lot more water here, um, but not today. We'll just have to bring you out here again. When it's a little bit deeper, in the hope that Mabel will have a, have a role. But then, you know, anyone who's, who's joining us on the 24th of June for our beach walking, maybe we'll bring Mabel along. They're very happy. Very happy beasties. So I think we'll just have an amble back now because I think we've been we've been out for a while. The sun's going down. There's Tamara. There's my mum. She's managed to keep Woody clean. You're very welcome, Chrissy and Fiona, as always. And this is, um, I can't trot through this bit here because um, it's, quite, it's quite rocky and stony. So Downson has to pick her way through here quite a bit. There's little Mabel. Mabel's been very good in not rolling. So what a lovely way to spend a Wednesday evening. So, you know, I could have taken you all up the beach that way, but I thought it was just nice to stay down here with the whole family. With Mabel and Hunnis. And maybe, you know, during the whole spring and summer series, I'm sure I'll bring you out here again and I'll perhaps take you up on Birkrig up the top there again, which I did, I think it was last year I did with Doubts, and I didn't do it as a live, I did it as a recorded video that I think went on our YouTube channel. I think I did it at sunset one day. 
You're very welcome, Sally. And Gillian. Oh, Hunnis, Hunnis is munching his way out. You're very welcome, Dave, Freya and Ella. But yeah, we'll, t we'll take you back to the lorry anyway. I think those two are busy munching. Let's see. Am I allowed Woody to ride with me, Tamara? Am I allowed to have Woody riding with me? See, this will freak Tamara out because Tamara's a very protective mum. It would freak her out. It freaks her out when I, when I, yeah, when I, when I put Woody on the horses' backs, she gets very nervous. <laughs> no, that's fine. It, it's probably too much with the phone as well. So, I, I won't terrify you this evening. Yeah. Hey, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming down. <laughs> That's Helen, Steve and Paul, as I say, who were with us at the weekend for one of our yard experiences. And you know, this really is one of the best times of year to come along for a yard experience. I mean, they're lovely at any time of year, but in the spring, May, May, June time, it's fabulous, you know, that we're not pestered by flies and horse flies at this, this time of year. So a lot of the horses were, are without rugs. The temperature's generally good. Oh, look, look at that big plane. Sorry, Frey. Look at that big plane flying across there. They're so impressive. And no, the horses aren't bothered by things like planes. They hear quite a lot of low flying jets, so it's not unusual for them. And like anything, I always say, if, if we're worried about it, then they'd be worried about it. But we're not. Um, uh, what's that? Hold on. Uh, let me see if I can read that. You want to see Woody up here with me. Um, hi, Lindsay. Uh, Rebecca, I'll tell you what. Oh, hello, Jill. This will bring back lots of lovely memories for you. But Hannes is just walking out with us tonight. Jill was one of my first visitors many years ago. We've had some amazing rides over the years. And it is nice, uh, Mum, being out with us, Karen. You're absolutely right. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll get back to the lorry. Um, no, sorry, Jen. Sadly, um, Tamara lost lost Esme. Yeah, she started having fits. It was horrible. It was very sad. Um, and yeah, she felt it took her a while before she could even consider having another dog, but. She's now got little Woody in her life. He'll never replace Esme, but he's doing a good job keeping Tamara happy. Although waking her up through the night is not necessarily a good thing for Tamara. But she's getting used to it. <laughs> um, is Hunnis enjoying his proper change of scenery. Sharon, I think absolutely he's he's loved it um, and we've had to leave Annie behind with Hoitzer and Jubbers. Hey, no worries Jill, thank you for joining. We, we are coming to the end but it's lovely to see you on here. It's lovely to see anyone joining us, whether you're joining us live or whether you're looking back at this later. We love to read all your comments and know that this is bringing a Frisian smile to your face. Uh, Pamela, uh, so beautiful at the beach and so um, chilling. And the best part was seeing everyone, including Hunnis. Oh, thank you, Pamela. Mabel and Dowson enjoying the beach. They have enjoyed the beach. Hi, Emily. Oh, I missed that, Jill. Hold on. Um, honestly, I can barely read the comments today. I really should learn to put my glasses on before I do this sort of thing. So don't worry, I didn't, I didn't see what you said anyway. Um, hold on, what's that, Sharon? I'm only turning it this way, so I'm away from the sun. 
There'll be no haylage with those three in charge of the yard. Um, no, don't worry, actually, Sharon, we've not left, left them loose on the yard. We've actually put um, Anya, Hoitzer and Jubbers in a paddock just because we're not there. So it's, it's best not to have them loose around the yard when we're not there. Um, but yeah, they'll have stripped the paddock, no doubt. Sorry. <laughs> um, so here we are, back at the lorry. Everyone else is walking back. They're slow coaches. <laughs> That's me. Oh, Jodie's here already. Yeah. No, of course she's not a slow coach. Dancing straight into the haylage. Uh, Lisa, don't laugh too much when you watch it again. Just be warned when you go on the beach walk. <laughs> PSI was the only one to fall. Uh, yeah, I think you were, Lisa. But that's okay. She was the only one to fall. Oh, who else fell? Oh, did Kaz nearly fall? Oh, okay. Well, you know, we will, on the beach walking, we will keep it very steady. Yeah. Um, and if you fall, you can't sue us, that's on you. <laughs> no, nobody can sue us anyway, because we don't have anything. So there's no point in suing us. So, oh, thank you. Am I doing that right? I need to put the phone down somewhere so you can still see. Um, hi, Claire. How you doing? Well, I'll tie Hannah up and then I'll take it. Thank you. Um, Joanne, yes, they do load well, generally. Um, Jen, who's the beach walk open to? The beach walk's open to anyone. Um, you don't even have to have horse experience to come on the beach walking. It's a day with us on the yard. We'll show you everything, explain how you walk them, um, choose which is the most appropriate horse for you to walk when we come down here. So it is for everyone. Um, the... Uh, if you're thinking of doing it, possibly the August one might be the best one for you to go to go for. Um, yeah, we've got a few spaces left on that one. As I say, just two spaces left on the 24th of June. Um, but take a look at the, I think Tamara's posted a link um, in the comments to, um, to the page on the website. Thanks, Hull. Um, so you can read about it on there, or if you've got any questions, then you can just drop me a line. I do reply to emails eventually. In three to five working days. Three to five working days. Possibly three to five working weeks. No, no, no I'm, I'm not too bad. Well, it depends. If it's complicated, then it takes me a, a little while to reply. But it's only because, obviously, you know, we've got 14 horses here, um, and there's an awful lot of looking after them, yeah. maintaining the farm, and, and, and the admin, there's just not enough hours in the day. And, for... and also when it's this time of year and it's nice and sunny and warm, I'd rather be outside than in the office um, because that, that's what makes, it's the summers and the springs and summers that make the winters worthwhile, mm. worth going through. Because Tracy gets grumpy when she's in the office. I do get grumpy in I the don't office. Care, it doesn't affect me, but poor Tamara has to deal with it. Well, she doesn't. That's why she has her office up in the static, and I, I get the porter cabin. Uh, well, you, you don't have to stop talking, Tamara. We're just to, Holly was just saying about how grumpy I get when I'm in the office. Yes. <laughs> but as I said, you just spend your time up in the static, and I, I go. In the static yeah. Where it's calm, and I get to oversee. Holly, I learn from Holly watching you training. My favourite has to be with the office chair. Oh yeah, that was. That oh was yeah, that really never. Yeah. Interesting. Really that that never got posted actually. That was Holly. Holly with my office chair in the arena with. Oh, was it with with Xiao yeah, and, and and Annie? Annie wasn't invited, but she invited us. Out. Yeah. yeah so. It was really, really irritating. Yeah, Annie, Annie likes to go in and interrupt training sessions on a regular basis, yeah. but then that's our fault for leaving the gate open. No, no, but she comes in here, takes the roll, and then, like, tries to aggravate them. And then, <laughs> like, she makes Yodel really, really angry. Yeah, well, she and Yodel don't really get on very well. I know, so yeah. it's like, well, why didn't she just stay away? Because <laughs> <laughs> she likes to supervise. Anyway, I've got apples for these three, I think, in the lorry. Shall I go and get you an apple, Mabel? Hi Judith, hi Joan. You're welcome, Karen. Let's go and see Hannes. Um, Tamara wants to take this home, um, the digger. That's more, that appeals to her more than a horse. But yeah, Tamara would love this, wouldn't you? 
This, this is your this is your dream ride. <laughs> I'd like to learn how to use them, but I could do so much with these. You've caused mass destruction. Beautiful destruction. Okay. So if anyone on here watching this wants to donate one of these diggers so that we can try and tidy up more of the farm, do we want a dumper truck as well? Uh, absolutely. Surely they wouldn't miss these. <laughs> but actually, maybe a new tractor and a quad would be best. Yeah, yeah. it would, really. <laughs> but, you know, we can, we can dream of these things. We can dream of them. Um, right, apples. I was going to get apples out the back of the lorry. Um, sorry, I'm going to take you into the back of the lorry now. This is really behind the scenes now. Oh, look, we've got Holly getting changed in here. You don't want to see that live on camera. Oh, ba Bailey's there on his phone, eating his melon. Right, Bailey, my darling. This is my son who is addicted to his phone, like most 11-year-olds. Um, you're being very helpful. I'm checking it to see if my father's Bailey, honestly. Right, bring you back out. There's the whole team there again. Um, you could pass me apples. What have you done to your finger? You've got blood on your finger. Accident report book. Yeah. <laughs> Dale, do you want an apple? Here we go. Um, Jane, can't you get in the box? What do you mean? Um, I've missed something. What do their names translate into English? That's a very good question. I don't know what Doutsons does. Mabel's is a very English name, but she was bred over here and she's the only one who's not by an approved breeding stallion. So she's in what's called um, the buy book. Uh, what's that, does Bailey ride? No. No, <laughs> is the answer to that. Um, oh, there's more here. Look, Hole, you can have an apple. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mabel wants an apple. Hannes, I'm coming with yours in a minute, I promise. Hold on, here we go. Mabel, Doutson's chomping in my ear. Is that nice, Mabel? Oh, hold on. You need to get the whole thing. This is very bad videoing. Hold on, let me come round here. Here we go. No, Doutson, you've had one. Here you go, Mabel. Have that last bit. Look, you've dribbled all over my hands, all over my gloves. No doubts, and you're not having that. Right, okay, let's give Hannes his. Hannes we have to be careful with, with treats. Um, very often we don't let people give him treats because it's the only time, he's the only Frisian who gets a bit angry with food and a bit possessive. I'm going to wipe my hands on you now, sorry darling. So he can sometimes be a bit grumpy. But he was actually very polite with that just now, weren't you? Hey Hannes, have you enjoyed yourself? Have you enjoyed yourself? Are you enjoying your apple as well, Hull? Yeah. Oh, I'm so pleased. Hannes wants your apple as well now. Don't pull faces and don't turn your bottom towards Hull. That's rude. Ah, 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 ah. Come over here. Come over here. Play nicely. There, you've got a little bit of haylage left there. Right, I think that's us. Um, so yes, apologies again for missing any comments. Um, I will have a scroll through, uh, maybe not later, but maybe in the next couple of days. And if there's anything, any significant questions that I've missed, then I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, and just a reminder again, there won't be a live hack next Wednesday, because uh, I'm taking Bailey out for the day. Not unless, Hole, you were going to do one. Oh, I could do a live something. Oh, that's fine, Claire. That's fine. Thank you for coming on here and I still have it in my mind. I know I need to sort well, out a date with you. What I could do is I could do a live walk around in the field. Like I could take everybody, um, if anyone would be interested. Just to meet the horses out in the field? Well, yeah, I could just walk you through that might be quite nice we're, we're not going to promise it because yeah. a lot can happen between now and next Wednesday but if you're very lucky yeah. if you're very lucky then you get a live with Hull yeah. um, to take you on a, on a basically live meet the horses yeah, yeah. I do offer those in person as well. 
Yeah, so Hole does most of our Meet the Horses tours. And if you pay £50 extra, I will wear a top hat for the exterior. Oh my life. I don't know whether you heard that because I've got the speaker, but she says that if you pay, is this for people visiting? Yeah. If you pay an extra £50, she'll wear a top hat for the experience. Yeah. Will you wear a dress as well? Um, that's free. No, oh, that's free. Unless you want a short one, then No, free. no, no, let's not go there. Right, I think it's time to finish, Hull. <laughs> so thank you again, everyone. And um, I will see you, obviously, on behind the scenes for those of you that are on there and with our other videos and social media that we put on. Um, and then I'll see you the following Wednesday for another live hack. So goodbye from me. Bye. Goodbye from Frey, Kaz. Tamara, Mum, Jody, Vince, Lisa and Hol over there. Um, yeah, thank you for joining and goodbye. <laughs>